A popular demonstration of conservation of momentum and conservation of energy features several balls hung in a straight line in contact with each other. Here we have taken five marbles. To understand conservation of momentum, let us have a look at this. This is a billiards table. It is a system of horizontal plane and several balls. Such a system is not affected by any external force. The total momentum doesn't change. It is conserved. Let us see another example. When one ball strikes the line, one is ejected. When more momentum is generated, two balls are ejected. Here we have taken two balls of which the left one has larger mass. On kicking the two balls with the same force, you would notice that the larger ball being heavier travels a longer distance because it gains more momentum in comparison with the small ball. Now we take two identical balls of the same mass. When one of these is kicked with more force, even though it being equal in mass as the other, it travels a larger distance. Before we get to collisions, we need to understand the bodies involved. Bodies could be of varying sizes ranging from a particle to a large mass of matter. An elastic collision is one in which both conservation of momentum and kinetic energy is observed. There is no dissipative force involved. Whereas in the case of inelastic collision, momentum is not conserved. Let us see an interesting demonstration illustrating center of gravity. 
We have used interlocked fork and spoon of identical masses and balanced them with a matchstick on the edge of the cup. Even after the portion of matchstick inside the cup is burnt, the interlocked fork and spoon still remains balanced, the center of gravity being at the point over the edge. This is a regular symmetrical body along horizontal axis. In such a body, center of gravity lies in the geometric center of the body. As for every point mass on left side of the center, there is an equal and opposite point mass on the right side. When we gently move our fingers towards the center of the body, we approach the center of gravity and eventually balance the scale on one point. When there is an unbalanced mass, the center of gravity shifts and hence it falls. This is the axis of rotation of the given door. The door can freely rotate about its axis. Torque is directly proportional to distance from the axis. Applying it closer to the axis reduces the action of torque. Thus more force is required to open the door. When we move away from the axis, it becomes easier to close the door. Thus it is easiest to close the door by applying force at the point farthest from the axis. Due to this reason, knobs are placed at such positions on door to make it easier to close and open. Scene, uh, scene 2 scene, scene 2 take 2 start cut scene 2 take 2 start <laughs> नहीं तो चल तो फिर ओए सॉरी सॉरी चल तो आगे चल इधर ले ले